Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a giddy couple in love that loves reacting to some Genshin Impact. Giddy for Genshin. Yeah, and so we're doing Triple Trailer Tuesday, people. Uh, three collected miscellanies again for uh, Genshin Impact. And we're doing this every week uh, as we work our way through the Genshin Impact collected miscellany playlist. And today is uh, Hiezu, uh, Teganari, and Koli um, that we're checking out uh, today. If you want all of our Genshin Impact reactions, check out the description of this video because we got a playlist there for you. So as a link to our Patreon, get early ad-free access for about a month ahead on our reactions there. Yeah. And before we start. We have a drink. Yep. It is Klee's Sparkling Bomb. It's got Pop Rocks for yeah. the rim. Cheers. Cheers. Technically speaking, the Tenryo Commission has no formal position called detective. However, formal or not, Doshin Shikanoin is indisputably the commission's top sleuth and every co-worker and criminal he has ever met has come to refer to him as that famous detective. Hmm. Sweet. Even the most rigid of rules will bend to accommodate extraordinary talent. And so the young prodigy detective's reputation only continues to grow. I'm on the case. Hazo prefers to avoid physical combat and prides himself Hazel. on winning battles with his intellect. However, even he admits that sometimes the martial arts skills that his father made him learn are vital when defending himself in the pursuit of justice. It's a reluctant fight. cracking cases is a detective's core duty. Hazo believes his true calling lies in preventing would-be criminals from ever committing crimes in the first place. This music is cool too. When Shikanui and and Hazo is in the yeah. party, he reduces sprinting stamina consumption for your own party members, oh, nice. making exploration faster. Hazo's I always appreciate attack it. performs up to five strikes that deal animo damage. I love that he's not even a weapon. He's so His badass. Hmm. Consumes a set amount of stamina to perform a sweeping kick, dealing animo damage. Tap Hazo's elemental skill to wield the swift winds and launch a powerful strike that deals animo damage. Holding the skill charges energy and allows Hazo to obtain up to four stacks of the declension effect, which increases the power of the next elemental skill. Hmm. When the skill button is released or the skill finishes charging, Hazo Oof. strikes forward, dealing just stay down. Damage. When Hazo possesses four declension stacks, the conviction effect is produced, further increasing the damage and like double the damage. The next yeah. skill. More than that. After unlocking the talent's paradoxical practice, Shikanoi and Heizo will gain one declension stack when he triggers a swirl reaction on the field. This effect can only be gained once per short period. Strategic Still always feel bad beating the blobs. Allows Heizo to know. gain declension stacks and increase the power of the elemental skill. Sharp investigative instincts enable Heizo to quickly pinpoint the motive and method behind a crime. His sheer brilliance means that many aspire to one day partner with him on a case. When the talent's penetrative reasoning is unlocked, after Heizo's elemental skill hits an opponent, the elemental mastery of all other party members is increased for a limited time. Confess! Confess. When Heizo unleashes his elemental burst, he leaps into the air and kicks Shame. the Fudo style Confess. vacuum slugger towards the enemy. The vacuum slugger explodes on him. Creating a wind tunnel that pulls in nearby objects and opponents. Vacuum Slugger? And yep, great name. I was just about to say that. When Vacuum Slugger hits enemies affected by Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro, it afflicts them with Windmuster Iris. Moments later, Windmuster Iris explodes and dissipates, dealing AoE damage of the corresponding elemental type. Vacuum Slugger can afflict a maximum of four enemies with the Windmuster Iris. A single enemy cannot be affected by irises of different elemental types at the same time. Though Shikanoi and Heizo always chooses brains over brawn, he is nimble and well-practiced in the martial arts of his clan. This, plus his keen sense of battle judgment, makes him more competent at close quarters combat than most imagine. In battle, the elemental skill is Heizo's main means of attack. A smart offensive allows him to rack up declension stacks and unleash a more powerful elemental skill. When energy is full, Heizo unleashes his elemental burst and uses the vacuum slugger to deal animo damage. By effectively coordinating with his you that name. Heizo can yeah. afflict enemies with the Windbuster Iris, lowering their defenses while assisting his allies. Mm -hmm. 
For most detectives, finding the truth is the end goal of every case. Once the file is closed and the criminal brought to justice, the satisfied sleuth sits back and congratulates themselves on a job well done. But even a job well done is not enough for Hazo. Finding the truth is good, but finding a way to dissuade criminals in the first place is even better. If it were anyone else, I would laugh off their delusions of grandeur. <laughs> Surely no single detective could hope to reduce crime through the sheer weight of their reputation. And yet, in the case of Shikano in Heizo, I find myself entertaining a faint and uncharacteristic sense of optimism. With that said, it is a pity that a detective of his caliber was unavailable to take on the case of the deicide of the God of Contracts. He was a fun character. Mm -hmm. Compared to ferocious beasts, it's hard to imagine placid plants ever posing a serious threat to humans. But deep within the sprawling forest where the vegetation grows unchecked, there is no telling what dangers may lurk within. Are you so never poison underestimate ivy? the rainforest, for life is a formidable force. If you're hoping to pass through the Avidia forest without incident, you would be wise to heed the stern warnings of the forest watcher. I'll lead the way. Tainari believes that the best thing to do with knowledge is to utilize it effectively in everyday life. Applying his botanical expertise in the use of his dendrovision has helped him to both advance his research and protect the rainforest's ecosystem. To be an effective forest watcher requires a keen, observant pair of eyes. Wow. When Tainari yeah, is in your party, the location of resources unique to Sumeru will appear on your minimap, making it easier to gather supplies. Tainari's normal attack can combo up to four consecutive shots dealing physical damage. With a charged attack, Tainari executes a more precise aimed shot that deals increased damage. The shot has different effects depending on how long the charging lasts. At charge level one, Tainari fires a dendro-infused arrow that deals dendro damage. At charge level two, Tainari fires a wreath arrow that deals dendro damage. After hitting its target, several cluster bloom arrows are generated that will auto-target nearby enemies and deal further dendro damage. When the talent Keen Sight is unlocked, after Tainari fires a wreath arrow, his elemental mastery will be increased for a limited time. Tainari's elemental skill throws a Vinyana Stormheart ahead of him that deals AoE Dendro damage and creates a Vinyana Kanda field, which summons strange illusions to taunt enemies and draw their fire. Also, Tainari mushrooms. gains the Vinyana Suffusion it can do some effect that decreases the charging time of the next wreath arrow. This effect will dissipate once the duration ends, or after Tainari has fired a certain number of wreath arrows. I mean, Mario popped on you. They didn't send us all. When Tainari unleashes his elemental burst, he harnesses the power of germination and fires six Tanglevine tendrils that automatically target enemies and deal dendro damage. I mean, After it looks cool, but just hit their target, the power of germination does not sound. <laughs> also auto -target enemies and deal Very menacing. Damage. Very intimidating. After studying the properties of a diverse <laughs> range of plants, Tainari gained a wealth of new insight into dendro-infused arrows. After unlocking the talent Scholarly Blade, for every point of elemental mastery Tainari possesses, his charged attack and elemental burst damage are increased. Damage can only be increased up to a certain limit. Poorly prepared hikers and fierce monsters are constant troubles in the rainforest. An earnest, informative lecture is sufficient to deal with the former. But in the case of the latter, Tainari shows no mercy. During battle, Tainari first uses his elemental skill to create a Vinyana Kanda field to taunt enemies and obtain the Vinyana Suffusion effect. From a safe vantage point, he can now quickly charge and fire wreath arrows to deal dendro damage to enemies. When energy is full, Tainari unleashes his elemental burst, firing tangle vine tendrils that pursue enemies. Two waves of tangle vines will home in on enemies to root out the problem at the source. 
Even as I speak, strange events that I cannot comprehend are unfolding in Sumeru City. Fortunately for Tainari, though he lacks knowledge of the full situation, his intuition has saved himself? him from becoming entangled in it. In Tainari's opinion, however profound and esoteric knowledge may be, it does not equal virtue. Elitism and deceit can lead to no good. Ironically, the Academia sages who manage knowledge neither comprehend the true meaning of knowledge, nor understand the yearnings of the human heart. Though Tainari hmm. has rejected them several times, still their pleas come time after time to his door. Let's see just where exactly the path of stubbornness and ignorance yeah. will lead them in the future. I'm like, what kind of beers does he have? Because I just Some keep time ago, seeing them and thinking of a donkey. Some time ago, welcomed a new training to, to their ranks. She's a warm-hearted girl with a radiant smile, always ready to help a forest trekker in need. Like the hardiest plants in the forest, her will to live runs deep, seemingly unbreakable despite the traumas of the past. Trainee Forest Ranger Kale, reporting. <sighs> Mondstadt gave Kale an opportunity to turn things around, and now Sumeru provides her with a place to grow. Here, she will support those around her with her newly acquired power of Dendro. Good things come to those who are willing to work toward their dreams. When Kale is in the party, she you reduces the hiding stamina consumption for your own party members, making exploration faster. Kale's normal attack can combo up to four consecutive shots, dealing physical damage. With a charged attack, Kale executes a more precise aimed shot that deals increased damage. While aiming, Dendro energy accumulates on the arrowhead. A fully charged arrow will deal Dendro damage. Kale's elemental skill throws a floral ring that deals one bout of Dendro damage to each target it hits. The floral ring will return after a set time, dealing further dendro damage on the way Sweet. back. Sweet. Yeah. After unlocking Boomerang the action. floral sidewinder, if one of your own party members triggers a burning, quicken, aggravate, spread, bloom, hyperbloom, or burgeon reaction before the floral ring returns, the floral ring will grant the character the sprout effect on its return. The sprout effect deals dendro damage to nearby enemies for a set time based on Kale's attack. Hmm. If the sprout effect is triggered again before it expires, the initial effect will be removed. Colin Amba, help! Kale's elemental burst brings her card kitty. assistant, Amba, <laughs> into the battle, causing an explosion that deals AoE dendro damage and creates a Colin Amba zone. Colin Amba bounds around within the zone, dealing further <laughs> AoE dendro damage. Good job, kitty. Plant life thrives in the Sumeru forests, like the hope rejuvenated in Kale's life. After unlocking the talent The Languid Wood, when a character in the Kalan Amba zone triggers a burning, quicken, aggravate, spread, bloom, hyperbloom, or virgin reaction, the zone's duration will be extended. A given Kalan Amba zone's duration may only be extended in this way by up to a limited amount. The time that Kale once spent on the run taught her a wealth of survival and combat skills. Though still a trainee forest ranger, her dendro vision gives her the ability to hold her own in many challenging situations. In battle, Kale focuses on casting her elemental skill, aiming to hit as many enemies as possible and generate the sprout effect within the floral ring. This enables her teammates to deal greater damage through more elemental reactions. When her energy is full, Kale summons Kalananba, whose Kalananba zone deals continuous dendro damage to the enemy and creates a fertile ground for elemental reactions. Oh, By like coordinating yep. with her teammates, the zone can be extended and exploited long enough to root out every last one. Growth means different things to different people. Some simply wish to grow up in peace while others pursue loftier goals. As for Kale, she believes that overcoming her past is a necessary step on the long journey to the future she pursues. This is wise, 
For to overcome is to move forward, not to wallow endlessly in the past. <sighs> Pity that my former travel companion, for all their years of rumination, lacks Kale's clarity on this. Or perhaps, some situations are simply too complex to be resolved by good intentions and honest effort alone. Sound a little jaded. Yeah, bit of the cynic. Mm hmm. Um, I would say it's this is, it's more my favorite of the that we've done so far. Um, Hezu was was my favorite one out of all of them. And then I don't know. Um, as far as T Tinari uh, or Tanari and and Coley, uh, who I would choose as my as my second. Like they're, I, I guess I'm just not one with the forest and and, and whatnot. These are harder to choose between because mm -hmm. um, there were pieces of each that I liked, but I think Heizu is just sticking out in my mind the most. So likely I should defer to him as as the favorite. But well, because his like was like he seemed like the most unique of, out of characters that we've seen so far as like fact, like, you know, he's just fighting with his hands as martial arts and everything. Yeah. And I connected more with this story about being a detective, but like but hoping that just, you know, his reputation alone or whatever will stop people from mind, wanting to commit crimes because they know they won't be able to get away with it. Um, and, you know, most criminals don't usually commit a crime if they think they're going to get caught. Well, not most, I'd say. There's, there, there are some that, you know, yeah, they're, they're crazy. But anyways. <laughs> um, he's, he's kind of like the Sherlock Holmes of the Genshin universe. Yeah. Which is amazing. And I love it. It makes me wonder where Watson is. <laughs> where is Jesus Watson? Yeah. Um... If I had to uh, choose between the other two, I mean, I guess it would be uh, Tanari, um, just because of like, it seemed like his, I don't know, plant botany skills were were, were pretty intense and, and better. And um, I like the one that thing where he shot the arrow and then like a bunch of little like tendrils like came. That was cool. Came in. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he'd probably be, be number two for me. <laughs> I think I go towards Coley, but I'm not married to that. I just, I think that's, that's what my gut's telling me. Um, All right, go with your gut. I am curious, and I said it at the time, but Tainari's ears, I'm, I'm curious what that is supposed to, to be in terms of like, um, cause nothing stood out to me. Now that could be cause I'm not recognizing what kind of ears he has. <laughs> but nothing stood out to me as being like, oh, like this animal essence is a part of him. Like he has mm -hmm. this such and such ability, which reminds me of. Um, so I'm just curious if the ears are anything, if it is related to an animal or if that's just sort of like the race that he is within the Genshin universe and like mm -hmm. it is unique unto itself. It is not supposed to be reminiscent of any animal that we know. And, and that's just the design. Yeah, let us know down below in the comments. And uh, if you want early ad free access to our Genshin Impact reactions, we're about a month ahead in our reactions on Patreon. There's a link down below in the description of this video, as well as a playlist where you can see all of our Genshin Impact reactions here on YouTube. Yeah. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Genshin Impact's collective miscellany, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.